we have moved. Oh my god, I'm so excited. The past few weeks have been absolute hell. After we've already moved in here, they told us that there wasn't an internet connection in the street. So I was like panicking super hard, but it was absolute crazy to get it all fixed. But it is fixed now. The computer is set up and I'm loving this background so far. I can't wait to just enjoy this house, enjoy this room and actually have a little bit more space and freedom to move because the previous apartment, it was very tiny and it was very difficult to record and it was not cozy at all. But now I feel like I actually have an office, so to say. So yeah, I'm super excited. Today I'm going to be watching All Quiet on the Western Front. I have a weird thing with this one. So apparently it was a novel and a book before and I live in Belgium, so that's super close to Germany. And of course, we learned a lot about the world wars in our school. And I do remember the title because I was saw on Netflix and I thought this is an old movie. And everyone's like, no, 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 it's a new one. But I cannot for the life of me remember reading the book or seeing the movie or I just don't know where I know the name from. Why do I know the name? But I have no reference to it whatsoever. So I'm just like, Arr. I'm thinking that maybe you went on a school trip to Ypres and that they talked about it, that it was a novel or a movie that we could watch or something. But I am fairly certain that we've never seen it in school. But I do know the name. And anyway, I'm super confused. But it is a topic that interests me a lot because especially it's so close to where I live. I think it's important to watch these movies. I'm glad that they make these movies. And <sighs> let's just jump into it. I'm excited, but also like, yeah, it's going to be a sad one. It's going to be difficult to watch, I reckon. I hope you like reactions like these. If you do, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, if you want to see full reaction, you can find that over on Patreon. There are both the full watch long style reactions. And I've also started uploading some exclusives on there. So if you want to watch some other movies that might not make it to the channel, you can watch it over there. Let's get into this one. That's scary, right? How peaceful it looks. My brother's name is Hans. I feel like it's a long time since I watched an in-war war movie. Like I watched Dunkirk. That's a different style, I would say. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have chills already. The cleanup crew. Wonder what that must be like, right? Because you see all the horrors at the same time you survived. So it's like, or do you just figure out a way to tune it all out? Because if it actually would come in, all the feelings and emotions, you wouldn't be able to handle that. Give me that filler. Have I not? Ludwig. This gives me anger. Bleib sicher nicht das einzige hier. Ludwig is like, no, no, no. Don't use me for this. This is sad though because he's like, yeah, I don't want to stay behind, but in hindsight, you probably would wish that you would have stayed behind. Sie werden sich als würdige Träger dieser Uniform erweisen und die gegnerische Front in Flandern durchbrechen. No, that's us. Flanders. Entschuldigung, die gehört schon wem? Heinrich. Kommt immer wieder vor. Ja. Oh, <laughs> somebody died in that outfit and you're going to be next. Oh. Watch their views being shattered in three, two, one. With verlaub, I have a befehl. They can't get a befehl in the arsch stecken. <laughs> Im arsch stecken. Yeah, see, that's what I remember from uh, what we learned is that World War I was so nasty because first time they were using all these toxic stuff. Die paar Bäume werden bei Tagesanbruch fast sicher tot sein. Oh. Okay. Das hier ist jetzt hier zu Hause. Alle mit anpacken, den Graben leer schöpfen. Worauf warten Sie, Bäume? Whoa! 
Whoa! Whoa, that helmet just saved your life. Schießen, verlagern, schießen, verlagern. Verstanden? Like, thanks for the tip. They should have learned this before, right? Oh, they're just being like dropped off and like, good luck. So beautiful, right? In such a sick way. It's so weird to see it from this perspective because you're like, oh no, I don't want them to come. I want you all to make it. I want you all to be fine. But also it's like knowing that the other side is our side is like what we want to win. <laughs> Holy hell. Oh my god. There's an Come. Oh, I was not here. Oh. <laughs> That's like the thing, right? You're alive next. That's it. You just your heart's still beating. You can sit up. Moving on. Sind Sie verletzt? Nun, dann einsammeln. <sighs> so sad to know, like, what we are reduced to. Laying there, all those people had dreams and families and were somebody's child and... Oh, Ludwig's glasses. Yikes. Imagine seeing one of your best friends like this. And then like, if you survive, you see their parents and the last image that you have of them is this. I think the moment that you see your friend like that and you need to move on and keep going, that that is a switch in your mind of like, that you step over a certain boundary that you have in yourself. Oh, this movie does a beautiful job, but... Silence, music, nature. Herzberger. Oh, Daniel. Wieder mehr als 40.000 Tote allein in den letzten Wochen. But they're close to the end. Is it? Yeah, they're like a few days off. Must be such a weird situation to be in, knowing that you've engaged this war for so long and that you're gonna lose. And how much you lost, regardless. Ach, mein Super, ich lohnt sich der Tafel zu sterben. Für Hunger lohnt sich alles. Do you reckon they're gonna make it four more days? Cut! Help! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I have the rest. <laughs> it's like a full on Christmas meal for them. Another amazing shop. <laughs> hey, salut! Ah, Median. I don't know if they're gonna like you much, but we'll see. <laughs> Something's gonna happen. Uh-oh. He left? <laughs> I'm so confused also like with dissertation and stuff, but I do think... I don't know if deserting counts in the last few days. Oh, how beautiful is... Picture is compared to the noises of the bombs in the background. Am Sonntag gehe ich zum Grab von unserem Kleinen. Ich werde ihm immer vorlesen, das macht er doch so gerne. Oh. As if life wasn't already hard enough on them. Sollen das alles wie an irgendwann nach Hause kommen und wir spazieren da rum wie Reisende in der Landschaft von früher. Now how do you go back? <coughs> But I especially feel like wait, the people from World War One that were still young back then, they have another one coming. Like that's 
crazy to think about. That da, 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 sound is so strong. Oh boy. I feel like this, this isn't a place that you want to discover. Did they just put them all in there and then... Oh, God damn it. So close to the end. Oh my God. Imagine being in that last week, but you don't know that it's the last week. So for you, it could still be years. Well, in the end, it's like, oh... Die Franzosen versuchen uns ihre beschissenen Bedingungen aufzuzwingen. Ich werde nicht kapitulieren. Wir müssen jetzt zuschlagen. Mit all unserer Macht. Oh Gott. Oh Gott. See, that's what I mean, right? We know now that it's only a few days left. But the last few days are so scary because, yeah, how many people are going to sacrifice right at the end? Imagine dying in the last days of the war. Like, Oh boy, no! So many amazing shots. Like, I can't get over this. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but. Hmm. I kind of want to rewatch Band of Brothers right now. Ah, oh, these visuals! Imagine that being like the whole contrast between the battlefield versus these important men drinking their tea and like. Im Namen der Menschlichkeit <laughs> bitte ich Sie für die Dauer der Verhandlungen einer sofortigen Waffenruhe zuzustimmen. Imagine having to speak about Menschlichkeit when you're in that situation. Wir sehen Ihren Vorschlägen zur Herbeiführung eines endgültigen Waffenstillstands zu Wasser. Land und Luft entgegen. Oh, it's... Oh, yeah. Oh. What do you mean with that? Well... On aimerait connaître les conditions, si vous... conditions à vous donner. No conditions are being given. Wow. Er will, dass Sie ihn förmlich darum bitten. Okay, this is pretty interesting. In Belgium, most people know by now, but in Belgium we get Dutch, German, French, English, all of that. So it's very weird to see this conversation and understand both sides a little bit. No. Demandons l'armistice. De nos conditions. Geben Ihnen 72 Stunden, unsere Bedingungen zu akzeptieren, sie sind nicht zu verhandeln. 72 Stunden. Der Krieg geht weiter, bis Sie unterschreiben. In Gottes Namen lassen Sie nicht 72 Stunden vergehen. Da draußen sterben Menschen. He, that's, I like that. They are losing, but... Alors signé. Knowing that every hour that you don't have a ceasefire, more people die, it's... Oh my god, they're literally just being, th like, they're just being sent off to die because there's nothing anymore to win. There's only more to lose. They're just gonna be wiped out. Why are we doing this? Horrible. running into like a field of guns and like i said before you want our side to win so you want their side to lose but at this point they're already losing they're already lost it's over so this is all deaths that are they don't need to happen okay yeah that's somebody's friend too, Paul. But yeah, well, yeah, they just do what they're being told to do. <laughs> Their meals look quite a lot better. Sorry, Germany. <laughs> oh, what? I feel like they're gonna come with something way worse. Yeah, now what? I don't want them to die!
It's interesting to see the different type of leaders. Seeing one leader who's like, we need to stop now. Like, there's no point. Stop, stop now. Oh, boy. And then you have the other leader who's like, fight until the end. Oh, my God. They're so lucky. I don't know the word. Smart. Oh boy. What? Get up, Paul, get up. Get up, go, go, go. <laughs> Oh, this is awful. Was uns jetzt noch von einem Waffenstillstand trennt, ist nur noch falscher Stolz. Wir werden nun die Suppe auslöffeln, die Sie und Ihre Feldherren uns eingebrockt haben. Ooh, that's an hard stance to think, I think, in a room full of pride. Um Gottes Willen, schließen wir Frieden. Come on, Paul, run for your life. You're so close. Uh oh. <gasps> See, and like if the movie was filmed from the perspective from that soldier, you'd be like, oh no. And now you're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Oh, to see if he gets shot. Bomb. And they all left. Oh no. Look at him. Oh boy. Oh. He stabbed it like seven times or something. Like, he's not gonna. But you go from like being a soldier to suddenly being in war to back to humanity where you're like, what did I do? God. That's like the scenes that are like, must make them wonder why, 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 why am I doing this? And also knowing that the saddest part is if that he hadn't killed him, he would have killed Paul. And then the contrast, I was just thinking about that, the contrast with the guys in the blue room dying with pride on the battlefield. Like, come on, man. Have you been there? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, friend. It's, it's so interesting, right? Oh, God. Okay, I don't want to see that. Oh, okay. That they lost... But nobody cares. Like, everyone's like, we can go home. But also, are you happy to go home? But everybody you fought together with died. But they don't care about the geography of the who owns what country. Well. Oh. He would want to ask so many men that went back, like, are you happy that you made it? Or is the survivor's guilt so bad that it's impossible to get used to a regular life again? And then again, a few decades later, immediately it starts again for them. Like, <laughs> you might survive and go back and then your son gets sent off to the second one. I think that's a form of relief that none of us understand. John. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, whoa. 
you know that I was thinking that actually um it's okay I know it's super weird to say but I was like what if he's like no I'm done damn I right. I feel like after this movie I'm just gonna <laughs> sit back and cry <laughs> for half an hour I'm having a hard time commenting. I noticed, like, I feel like in the beginning it was like, shut up, but I was like, I really need to sink in a bit more. And now I'm like, completely merged in the movie and I'm just like being hit by all these emotions. Crazy thing that some people have the most influential signatures in the world, signed the scariest papers. The Waffenstillstand tritt in six Stunden in Kraft in the 11th Stunde am 11th Tag des 11th Monats. The guerre is finished. Of course, Bums. Lassen Sie im Hof antreten. Wir ziehen den Karren jetzt aus der Scheiße. Oh boy. What's he gonna do? Krieg ist vorbei. Es ist vorbei. That must be so like unimaginable. Hast du Hunger? <lacht> Deine Frau, die ist schön. Ja. Yeah. I hope they're gonna be fine, right? It's over. The six hours is not gonna be a trick. Like it's done. A trick in the sense of like that it's not that time yet and somebody could still be misinformed and still shoot them. I've been shooting for Paul. I have a shoe. I can my brief lesen from my Frau. Du gehst studieren Paul. Oh. Be careful though, like. I need to borrow my wish then. She's in me doch glatt über den Haufen. Oh no, I'm no. Was mit dem verdammten Hund dort? Ja. Oh no, I'm so worried. Why would you risk that at the end? Tu veux? Oh boy. I'm so scared we're gonna hear a bang and that's gonna be it. All the eggs broke. What are you gonna do? I'm scared again. What if the kid is like so pissed off and just comes off to them really good or something. Oh god. Of course. God for Toma. Cut. What's passiert? Wait, what? Oh. Cut. They're so like, yeah, casually being shot. Oh god, is he gonna die? Oh no. He lost his last friend. Oh boy, like... Oh, I was so happy that they made it together. Unlucky. <laughs> what a star. He survived so much, and in the end, he lost even more. We stand here as brothers, the Deutsche Sozialdemokraten. Unser geliebtes Volk wehrlos machen. Für sie geht es bald heim zu Eltern, Frau und Kindern. Damn, if you compare him to the others, his face is like. Wollt ihr als Soldaten und Helden empfangen werden oder als Feiglinge, die den Schwanz einzogen? Oh mein Gott, why are you gonna let them do what? Soldaten, wir werden jetzt zuschlagen. Oh no, this dude. They're gonna say no, right? They're not gonna do this. Noch vor elf Uhr und beenden diesen Krieg. Oh my god, it doesn't end. It's like one thing after the other. <gasps> They're gonna shoot them! Oh my god! On the last day! Because you don't want 
want to fight on the last hours. Shooting your own people at that point. Fifteen minutes. Are you kidding me? God damn it. None of them want to do this, right? None of them want to be here. Oh, is it like ah? Oh. But losing cat, he really has that look on his face of like I have nothing to lose. I've. Would you dare to like stay a little bit behind in terms of like I'm here but not really? And like, how does it work with eleven? Like, do they actually just stop? They cannot shoot anymore, or do they kind of just keep going a little bit? He's gonna do this again, right? He had that moment with Duval, and now he's like, it's just the same thing. Alright, like, just stop it! Come on! Both of you! Onzer! Onzer! Oh! Onzer! There we go. God damn it. Ow. Oh. Isn't that poetic? Oh. And they were walking next to each other now. It's crazy. The cycle continues. We're now gonna see a pull. Oh boy. I haven't felt this empty in quite a while. Three million for nothing. Oh, I need a minute. <laughs> and the thing that one time was enough, you know, like what a movie. That was that was such a good movie. And it's so hard to comment on it afterwards because you're just like like how do you feel? You feel nothing, you're just destroyed. And movies like this, you on one side have the movie, which is it was so beautiful with the nature, the sounds, the music, the leaving silence into the scenes while depicting this horror. And then on the other side, you just have the fact that it all happened, which is horrible. And then you feel, I feel like it does a great job in terms of you think it's the end and then cat dies and you're like, God damn it, no. Not at the end, like not right at the end. And then you have Paul dying at the actual end. And you're so like, you thought when Candid was that last death that felt so unnecessary. And then it, there's a huge wave of people still in the last 10 minutes, which is just that commandant that ordered that. Come on, man, like, wow. And then that moment where they're like, it's the other or like that hearing that being shouted in two different languages is so like and then they just walk next to each other like oh boy okay the tears are coming <laughs> i need to go <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this reaction i really really love this movie anyway have a good day i'll see you in the next one like it if you had fun today if you liked the reaction and yeah if you want to see the full one you can find that over on patreon there are most full watch long style reactions i need to go <laughs> have a good one bye